is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any four can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find they are one tree, not two. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Woodfall Manor for this very special occasion. We are gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Thomas James Upston and Hannah Louise Ide. In making their commitment to each other before you today, Thomas and Hannah affirm the strength of their love and offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. I call upon these persons here present to witness I, Thomas James Upston, to take thee, Hannah Louise Hyde, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Hannah Louise Hyde, do take thee, Thomas James Upston, to be my lawful wedded husband. From this day forward, I promise to love and honour you, to encourage and support you, to share all things in life with you and to never take for granted the happiness you bring me. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. I promise I will always support you, share all my thoughts and feelings with you, and give you the freedom to be yourself. But most of all, I promise that I will always help you. May we look to our future with hope and happiness, and always remember the feelings that we share for each other. Thomas. Do you take Hannah to be your wife? Do you promise to be loving, loyal, and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. Hannah, do you take Thomas to be your husband? Do you promise to be loving, loyal, and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. It gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. First of all, I'd like to thank Hannah for marrying me. <laughs> She's the most beautiful, intelligent and caring person I know. She does absolutely everything for me, so much so that she even wrote this speech. <laughs> on behalf of Tom and Hannah, I'd just like to say it's great to see so many friends and family here today supporting them on this special and momentous occasion. You're all in this room because you have some significance in Tom and Hannah's lives and I'm sure they will cherish the memories they make all of you today for the rest of their lifetime. So well done for making the cut. Many of you here may know me as Craig, but today I want you to know me as Hannah's father because nothing makes me prouder than saying I'm Hannah's father. I've watched you grow into a beautiful, kind, intelligent, hard-working woman. She's perfect. Walking down the aisle is a memory that will never leave me. I feel so privileged and I love you, sweetheart. Tom, when you look at Hannah, I see how much you love her. I see the kindness and the patience. <laughs> I truly couldn't have picked a better husband. 
You're a good man who I respect. Today is the happiest day of my life, although Hannah accepting my proposal to marry me comes a close second. I was so nervous on the day, the trip to Paris that I actually planned myself. <laughs> made me overwhelmed and relieved when she said yes. I've never seen Tom so happy and that's a testament to you Hannah. You make his soul glow and his smile beam. You only have to be in their company for a few minutes to realise they are best friends as well as soulmates. I ask you all to charge glasses and toast Mr and Mrs Upson. To an undeniably exciting, loving and joyful future Mr and Mrs Upston will have. I wanted to say in front of our friends and family that Hannah, I love you and hope every day is as special and as happy as today, just not as expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, Hannah, you are my soulmate, best friend and now most importantly, my wife. Please, friends and family, raise your glasses for a toast. To Mrs Upston. Ha, ha, ha.